Hi, Alex from Messy Painting here. Um, just with these um, cyborg, i.e. Necron, mysterious objective markers have just arrived. Uh, they're from Laser Cut Card, which is a company um, in South Africa, I think, which uh, make um, uh, objectives and a few other things for uh, Warhammer 40k. So, um, to start off, um, yeah, I got the idea for buying these through Idik Beer, um, which is uh, um, another uh, 40k channel. Um, so, let's go ahead and open them up. All right, let's try the other side. Oh, I get it. There's this piece. Makes more sense. Ah, okay, finally. So, we have here this piece of card, uh, paper. Um, oh yes, yeah, so these are the two, um, whatchamacallits, you know, sheets of things. <laughs> um, so this side has all the, uh, numbers on it. Uh, they're written in decimal and, um, binary underneath, which is quite cool, especially since uh, Necrons are like robotic, so, you know, it kind of makes sense having binary. And this side just has these glyphs on, and also has the middle sections, I think, there, of each objective. The square hole here is for holding a uh, uh, D6 dice. So, yeah, I'm going to go and um, uh, pop all these pieces out, and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Um, so these are all the pieces. I've popped out the little holes, square holes, in um, the uh, for, for the dice. Um, with these, I wasn't exactly sure whether to pop out the kind of uh, glyph. Um, if you, uh, I've forgotten this camera can't really focus very well. But it's got a little hole in there and in there. And if I pop them out, then that bit would fall out too. So I'm not really sure what I'll do. I suppose when you glue it on then you glue the middle piece on as well so that it still has the shape of the glyph um, but anyway putting that aside yeah I've popped out all the um, square holes and a few bits of the numbers were still uh, uh, in and stuff like that so as for the number of points each objective is worth we've got one one two twos two threes and one four um, you can use these uh, number of victory points or you can roll a dice and put it in or they can all just be three um, points and use this glyph or you can roll the dice to determine um, uh, what what the mysterious objective is so you know it might be a sky fire matrix or a shield generator or one of those things that you roll for so you can show this number as victory points and the dice number as the um, the mysterious objectives roll all or as I said you can use the dice roll as the number of victory points so yeah I think these are a really good buy they look awesome especially with this glyph I thought I'd go for the mysterious objectives rather than just the normal objectives even though they're a bit more expensive because you can use them as normal objectives and you can use them as mysterious objectives so you know it's like two in one um, yeah this and, and it was really cheap anyway you get five of these here um, and it was only 377. I mean, if you compare that to, uh, you know, either scra scratch building an objective out of bits from Games Workshop kits or some of the objectives that Games Workshop supply, it's considerably cheaper. So I highly recommend this if you're a Necron player. And they also have Necron base toppers, as I say, another set of objectives. And they also have them uh, the same for Chaos and Orcs at the moment. Uh, they also have some Art Deco kind of zombie apocalypse, I think it is, buildings 
Uh, so they have a quad gun, uh, which is also made from plastic tubing and cork, I think it is, uh, as well as bits of card. Uh, yeah, they have turrets uh, for orcs, chaos, and necrons. They have um, defense lines for all three, and yeah, as I said, turrets. And you can get deals like you can get a defense line with a um, uh, turret, for example, the cyborg um, defense line. I think it's called a uh, um, or oh, cyborg barricade. It is one of the two anyway. It has these awesome uh, kind of rows of uh, like kind of blocks that you can build a wall out of. A bit like the Aegis defense line that Games Workshop makes. Um, but all with these glyphs and stuff as well. And then they also have this kind of crystal tower, which, which I suppose you would use as a particle whip like on the top of the monolith. So anyway, yeah, as I say, this is awesome. These are the leftover kind of sprues. So, uh, yeah, it's all, well, obviously laser cut. <laughs> uh, these are the bits that are, were left over from the um, uh, holes in the middle of these. So, yeah, I just wanted to review that quickly. I might do a video when I've glued them all together, painted them and so on. And um, please like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Um, also favourite this video if you like. Um, and this is Alex from Messy Painting signing off.